Hi there Virgos, welcome to your weekly tarot reading. So um, I feel like the major emphasis and focus for this week is all about your communication. Being able to be very persuasive without being domineering. And um, I also feel being able to persuade people with facts rather than manipulation, okay? A lot of the times um, when we want somebody to kind of do things um, that we think they should do, and we kind of justify it by saying, oh, you know, it, it's for their better good, it, it's for their greater good, or it's for their best interests. And we might be in a position where we kind of spin the truth or omit truths or you know um, spin a situation so that it um, it skews other people's perception in a specific direction and that is manipulation so I feel like this energy is coming in with both of these spreads so you want to be a little bit careful about your intentions and you want to be a little bit you know mindful about not infringing on people's free will and even if they make decisions that you don't agree with. It's really important to provide the whole truth so that other people can, you know, make informed, enlightened decisions, okay? Um, when it comes to your romantic sector, I feel like you're dealing with a partner who you consider to be kind of like the pillar of uh, stability, okay? You have a really, really stable romantic partner uh, in your life that you're either coupled up with or somebody that you um, you are thinking about heavily or you're really in love with. Um, the person shows up as the Ten of Pentacles. So this is their energy. And what it denotes to me with this Ten of Pentacles is um, someone who's very, very career oriented. They're very family oriented as well. They keep in touch with their extended family members, you know, grandparents, um, parents, uh, nieces and, and nephews, aunts and uncles. So it's somebody that comes from a large family and they take family roles and relationships very, very, very seriously. And in a way, I feel like they are very mindful of other people's faults, but they don't hold grudges against other people. And they have this enlightened um, belief that, you know, we're all humans, we're, we're all prone to be, uh, making mistakes. So I'm not going to hold it against the other person. So I feel like from this person, their energy is very open, they're very loyal and very dependable. And I feel like that sense of loyalty extends to family members. So if you're dealing with them, if it's a crush or if it's even a partner, you want to be very careful about not nitpicking, you know, their family members, because I feel like this really fiercely loyal type of person who might not take well to uh, criticisms about their their family members. Granted, you know, they they um, they might have flaws, but I feel like this person is very deeply protective and they're very deeply loyal to their family unit. And I also feel like if you are dating this person, they're fiercely, fiercely uh, loyal to you. I don't sense um, possessiveness. I don't sense control issues. But I do feel like this is a person that doesn't um, take relationships lightly. And they might not have... Um, dated around a lot so I feel like somebody who's a late bloomer somebody who you know uh, uh, really believes in the institution of marriage and they're a little bit more old school a little bit more traditional and uh, I feel like you know they they do want to embody the traditional gender roles or the traditional family value where one person's the breadwinner the other person takes care of the kids it might not be as old school and as archaic as that but I feel like Deeply, they're very, very entrenched in the past and they are very reliable, a really good provider, somebody that has uh, property, somebody that um, even works in the financial industry, okay? Um, I also feel if you are, well, this is your energy coming to the table. This is how your partner views you. You show up here as the king of wands and your energy is you take good care of yourself. You work out, you dress well, you're, um, you know, you're mindful about the way that you look. You have a public persona about you as well, where you might have to give presentations. You might have to, you know, lead the way. You might be in charge of people. You might be a leader in your own right. And you're someone who um, 
it's like you're you're a major player in your industry in your field in your field of expertise you have a lot of knowledge and you're kind of like that career climber uh, where your position is very set and you're due for promotions next year and then the year after that so you're very very financially established and they like the fact that you know you get things moving for yourself you don't sit there and wait for opportunities you're very proactive about getting out there this is also feeling a lot of passion towards another person this is somebody who's protective who's caring who's nurturing they don't overstep their boundaries though and in general it indicates to me a lot of passion and chemistry um, that you are bringing to the table towards another person if you are dealing with an earth sign a taurus a virgo or a capricorn I feel like there might be um, communication issues coming into the picture and um, your partner might be very slow to act you know with the nature of the ten of pentacles is that they're very very methodical they're very risk adverse they don't like to take unnecessary risks they don't like to deviate from their routine and their norms and they don't really um, they're not impulsive not very spontaneous and I feel like you're trying to get a lot of things moving and this person is kind of dragging their feet. And as a result of it, I feel like there might be, you know, communication issues coming in through here with the Three of Swords, which is uh, harsh words being exchanged, possibly a separation, or even thinking about like um, arguments between couples that uh, can relate to, you know, the silent treatment or like that can, um, that can result in one person withdrawing because they're hurt. So be very, very mindful about how we communicate because the King of Wands, it's someone who's very proactive, but they can be very, a little bit forceful, okay? Um, if you're dealing in particular with earth signs, I feel like you know want to tone down on the teasing and the communication and make sure you communicate from a space where your understanding of, of their slowness to act, that you're also, you know, a little bit more understanding of their willingness or, or their uh, unwillingness for change okay to make like rapid sweeping change in their lives they see you as someone who's able to implement you know it's like you you don't talk about things you just do them you don't sit there and say like oh here are my plans you know you just get things done and I feel like your partner is not on the same time frame as you and it can be a little bit frustrating um, I see as well a lot of like missed opportunities between you and a crush, okay? So we have here the Five of Cups. This is what I call like the Heartbreaker card. It's somebody who can be seen as a little bit flirtatious. They are very, very friendly, but their attention is not exclusive to one person. Or at least they're not really aware of how other people perceive them. So I feel there's an element here about, you know, harsh words being exchanged, um, feeling that sense of regret and feeling that sense of like um i shouldn't have said that or you know he or she should not have said that to me so it can create a little bit of an estrangement between two people and we also have the devil energy coming through here which indicates i feel like for some of you who are not in a um, well you could be in a committed relationship you're dealing with another person that might have uh, entanglements elsewhere Okay, so they might have a family, they might have, um, you might find out this week, like somebody you're interested in is already in another relationship. If they've been flirting with you hardcore, then, you know, um, I feel like you're going to put a stop to that. I don't see third party meddling, but I do feel like there's a presence of third parties and it's indicated with the Ten of Pentacles, which is a family card, as well as the Devil, which indicates really strong attraction to another person, but it's not really seeing the light of day here with the Three of Swords, mainly because somebody is uh, engaged, married, in another relationship, or, you know, coupled up with somebody else, or they have other arrangements that's disallowing you to come to them or disallowing them to come forward to you and for the two of you to come together and date um, the other areas that I'm going to touch on here is I feel like for many of you there is um, a sense of like self-consciousness um, like um, being self-conscious feeling um, like anxiety and and um, and I feel like it's it's in the realm of public speaking okay many of you have high levels of education so I feel like the majority of people who are watching this 
you guys have like a high level of education and it's indicated here with the um magician this is somebody i i feel like you know it's somebody who has a, a mastery over many subjects so you might have a master's degree you might have a phd you might have a bachelor's degree you might have multiple certificates you have might have multiple degrees and i feel almost like you're trying to find ways in which to um, make use of all your skills, okay? And you're trying to, as well, I feel, reach out to um, a larger demographic. Um, you're trying to reach out to a larger group of people. And what I'm sensing is, with this world card, I feel like there's a lot of hesitation. Even though you are a major player in your field, I feel like there is hesitation and reservation from your end about public speaking, about pe speaking out, about being center stage, about you know having all eyes on you. It can make you feel a little bit uncomfortable. And I mentioned before with Virgo people, you're very good at working behind the scenes and letting somebody else shine under that spotlight. You're not a um, an attention hog, you know? But I also feel like you're thrust into some type of a new work situation where your ability to speak, your ability be, uh, excuse me, your ability to uh, be very eloquent with your speech, to be very concise with your communication and to be very articulate, somewhat like um, if it's interpersonal relationship, you do just fine. But if it's in a large group setting, um, you know, the, the anxiety sets in and self-consciousness sets in and you're not able to convey the messages to the best of your capabilities. And I feel like you might be beating yourself up over it. Rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. Okay. Rehearse so that everything flows naturally. And so that you're not, um, you're not scrambling at the last minute, just rehearse. It, it does wonders for you. Okay. So I see that element coming through where there's like, um, ex social anxiety or even like public speaking, fear of public speaking and things like that. Um, I feel for many of you, there are, um, it's like, um, making decisions with another person trying to decide. And I feel like it's, it's heavily work focused. Okay. I see a lot of work trips, a lot of travel and movement happening for you guys as well. And I feel some of you are, um, finishing up something like possibly publishing. You're trying to get people to publish it, or you are trying to attend like conferences where you have to, you know, talk about what you just published. And then I also feel people, um, finishing up something, possibly finishing up with school and then uh, traveling to, you know, for job interviews, traveling to try to find financiers or, or funding for some type of project. Um, it's going to be a very busy week, but I see this big element about you rubbing um, elbows with people that are also major players in their field. And they're going to be able to give you a lot of assistance, a lot of technical expertise, and it's going to really um, help you overcome a lot of these issues. Okay. So I hope the reading is helpful for you guys, Virgos. Um, take care of yourself and I'll be back next week. Okay. Bye-bye.